This miniature airfield has been a popular spot for hobbyists for years, and so there was skepticism and alarm about news that a Massachusetts man is accused of plotting to use similar planes for terror attacks. Hobbyists say although some planes can reach speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour, they are a poor choice for a terror attack. One reason, the planes are very difficult to control and require years of practice to fly without crashing. If anybody had a malicious intent, probably on their learning curve, trying to figure out how to operate one of these, they'd probably come to some sense and say, this isn't happening, find an alternate path. Another reason, model planes simply don't have much room for payload. Having a model that's supposed to weigh 19 pounds versus a model that's supposed to weigh 60 pounds or whatever they were claiming that he was going to use, it's just not going to work. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, I just don't see it. Robert Lynch has traveled the world in model aircraft competitions and says model planes need to be carefully balanced to take off and be stable in flight. This is what we consider a basic sport jet. This is about what most size aircraft are. And as you can see, I mean, you have fuel tanks that sit here. You have a fuel tank that sits up here. You have a components board which holds your electronics and so on. There's limited space in this model as it is. I mean, we have to fight for space most of the time to get our stuff that we need to have in there anyways. Hobbyists here say they're proud of their commitment to safety and say they're worried their sport will face an unfair crackdown. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Sunrise, Florida.